You are about to see real dialysis patients filmed at a real dialysis clinic. These patients have chosen hemodialysis rather than peritoneal dialysis for treatment of their kidney disease. The purpose of this video is to talk about the importance of preventing bloodstream infections. We know that infections are the second leading cause of death in dialysis patients. Infections are also a leading cause of hospitalizations in dialysis patients. Infections are a leading cause of loss of vascular access, catheters, fistulas, and grafts. Many of these infections are preventable by simple things like proper hand washing. All dialysis clinics have procedures specifically designed to protect you from infection. Sometimes it may seem like it just takes longer to do it that way, but there is an important reason for it, to keep you from getting a possibly life-threatening infection. This video will show you ways you can help protect yourself. Take an active role in your care. Look, listen, and learn. Know what to look for, and don't ever be afraid to ask questions. This is a matter of life and death. Okay, I didn't realize it before, and I knew very little about dialysis. But when you realize they're saving your life every day, it's important that you're aware of everything that's happening. It's important that you participate and know exactly what's going on. Being the kind of guy I am, I'm always asking a million questions or reminding someone of something they already know. If I need to know something, I can ask a question. If I don't know how to do something, ask a question, and they show me how to do it. So why do I always have to come? You know, I know I take a shower, I take a hot shower, mm -hmm. clean, so why I have to do it over at the clean sink? Well, you're at the clean sink because yeah. you have to for the safety of your access. So that's why when I, put, when I come to you, I put gloves on and I wash my hands. I don't want to carry the germ from all the machine to your machine and to you. So every time you do three cases, you have to sanitize your hands and put on your anytime, gloves? Anytime. Anytime I'm touching the machine, I have to do that. I have to wash my hand and put it in gloves on. Connie, could you explain to me why it's necessary for you to wear gloves uh, all the time that you're on? Well, uh, we put gloves on to protect from contamination, bacterial contamination um, of your skin with anything that we contact in the environment. As you know, you come in, you cleanse your skin, and you, even though you wash it at the sink first, we cleanse it again to minimize any bacteria that might be on the surface of your skin. Mm -hmm. And so we need to put on clean gloves every time we touch that so that we are not carrying and transmitting bacteria from other parts of the unit. I notice that if the machine starts to beep, uh, someone will come and put on one glove just to hit the button. Right, that's right. Because we never know uh, in uh, initiating dialysis, even though we uh, take precautions to keep everything as clean and hygienic as possible, there may be a tiny amount of blood that may have hit the machine during initiation. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we never want to take the chance that we are touching the machine, which is considered contaminated with bare hands. So we always would put on a glove uh, to touch any part of the machine and then change that glove afterwards. Why is it that you wear a mask when you're doing me? Um, the shields that we wear are generally for our protection. Uh, as you know, fistulas can have a very powerful flow inside them. Yes. Sometimes, uh, as careful as we are, there is some blood that's spilled or comes out during putting needles in and uh, so we're protecting ourselves from getting splashed with that blood. Okay. If you were to have a catheter in your chest, we would actually wear a mask as well to uh, prevent breathing on an exposed area mm -hmm. of the central line. Mm -hmm. But for fistulas or grafts, we use the shields basically for our protection. I can understand that because I remember one time the blood just went up, I mean, that high. Right. I didn't realize there was that much pressure there. Right, and that's why we also wear the gowns that you see, the white gowns that have long sleeves and are long as well. They are uh, fairly impervious to the fluid and, uh, and blood, and so we use that along with the shield and the gloves to protect ourselves. Yeah. Getting an infection is not an option for me. Because if you don't take your treatment seriously, it can put you in a hospital. I clean my arm like a surgeon. I have to be very careful about it. That's why I apply on the soap as thick as I do and make sure I cover the whole access site. Then once I finish doing that, I use the antiseptic to clean my hands. 
put my gloves on, I would have to use the alcohol wipe and make sure that everything is, is totally clean. Safety precautions are also important at the end of treatment. Using a new glove to hold your sight and cleaning your hands before you leave the clinic also prevent infections. I don't want to get sick. I'm going to be around for a very long time. As a dialysis patient, you have the power to help prevent bloodstream infections. Be alert, be aware, watch what's going on around you. Know when gloves should be worn, when gloves need to be changed, and when hands should be cleaned, yours and your caregivers. Practice good hygiene yourself both at home and entering and leaving the dialysis unit. No germs in, no germs out. Don't be afraid to speak up if it is not right. Remember, it is your life and health.